Hey YouTube, so I went to Rash Creek with Offroad Consulting. This is a, um, another part of Trail 32 that we're on. Uh, our group of Jeeps going up it. This is a little more uh, um, of a narrow, uh, rockier section of it. So um, this section of the trail um, is actually very similar to AOA um, in that uh, it, might, it might actually be graded properly. Um, it's narrow, it's uphill, um, there are some rock obstacles. Majority of the rock obstacles are not probably like on par with like the the um, the blues or AOA, but a couple of them, a couple of the rocks is what I'm saying, um, probably are. So this spot specifically up here where uh, the Jeep in front of me um, is just having a couple of little minor issues, um, that is probably really similar um, to you know what you typically see like on Whiskey Ridge or, or uh, you know one of the other uh, trails, um, blue trails at AOAA. I mean this is the whole video series is not meant to be a comparison of the parks but you know I'm just kind of providing some commentary on what I'm seeing. So this is really good what, what they did um, basically um, the wife popped out mm -hmm. and wanted to spot the um, the driver so that's like um, really a good thing to do um, at least they're not just um, you know damaging their vehicle um, doing the same thing over and over and over again. Um, typically we don't do that. Typically, um, we, me and my wife, typically the way that it would work would be, um, you know, if, if I can't get over the obstacle, um, typically she doesn't get out in spot. Typically I get out in spot and she gets in the driver's seat. Um, so typically it's either, you know, me driving, her driving, or her driving with me spotting. Uh, but it's nearly never um, the situation where, where I'm driving and she's spotting. Um, just because, you know, she would rather drive and have me spot um, if we ever ended up in a situation like this where um, one of us was driving and the other one was spotting. And, uh, you know, you know, I've told people that, um, you know, a lot of times, like, if, it's on, if we're on greens, then either one of us is driving. Um, if we're on, um, you know, moderate blues, then either one of us is driving. If we're on, like, difficult blues or blacks, then typically I'm driving more often than not. And then, um, you know, if we're on like a really, really, really difficult um, black and one of us has to spot, then she's driving all of a sudden again. Um, that's usually the way things go. Um, so anyway, um, you know, the guy's been, been basically stuck here for a while. Um, so, you know, you can see a bunch of people kind of got out and um, came up there to try to help out with spotting. And, and in, in the end, um, the, you know, what happened was basically um, he went to the other side of the tree and uh, had to choose a completely different line than what he was wanting. And, and the left side of the tree is actually um, where the trail is. That's the actual line that uh, um, was intended for the trail. And the right, you know, other people have done the right side before, um, but that is more of like a bypass. And there's nothing wrong with taking the bypass, um, but that that is, um, you know, more uh, um, of a bypass and less of the spirit of the trail. That's me there in the light blue shirt, if anybody was wondering. Um, you know, because they don't see me in videos, um, like, really frequently. Um, and that's, um, I was wearing a uh, Coral Region Outsiders um, sweater, which is kind of a, a defunct um, club. Um, I think, you know, I think it's defunct now. Um, and it was a local uh, Roush Creek uh, um, slash Anthracite um, AOAA um, club. So here we are, um, same exact uh, line, same exact obstacles. The only difference is, you know, 40s. I, I don't know if I turned on the um, lockers or not. I probably didn't. And you know, just like whammo jammo, like right over it. Um, sometimes it's just, you know, slightly different line. So these vehicles coming down the hill um, took the same trail, except they are doing the bypass to get uh, um, off the trail and, and without going down the way we went. And uh, I was thinking of taking him out of the video and kind of speeding up the video a little bit. Um, the video has been sped up, by the way, um, about double speed, but I was thinking of just, you know, removing them from the video altogether. Um, however, um, it gives you a good um, kind of view of some other types of vehicles that can come out to Roush Creek, that can, you know, do a lot of these trails. And this is obviously a Toyota Club that's coming down the mountain. And uh, these are, um, they look like Land Cruisers and Forerunners. Um, I'm not really like a Toyota buff, so I don't know, like, all the different um, models. Maybe somebody can in the comments tell me the model, models of these vehicles if they really care. Um, but the thing I want to point out is if you look at like say this red one right here, there's not a lot of space between the wheels and the wheel well. There's not a lot of space um, underneath it like clearance wise. Um, that's kind of like, to me it looks like maybe slightly bigger than stock but not um, a whole lot. So I did cut it a little bit but uh, um, you got to see some of them and uh, you know a lot of these vehicles that are out here um, you know they're not like super you know pimped out and they're, and they're still doing um, you know trails um, they're just taking you know bypasses and stuff they did say that they thought that this trail was too much for them when they were coming down and they were recommending that we actually turned around 
with them, which I thought was kind of um, interesting that they uh, were like, you know, this is bad, this trail's bad, like, stay away from this trail. But, so. So I do have footage, um, and I think the footage is probably in the next video, maybe, of the vehicles going up the next obstacle, which is, the next obstacle is a really um, large obstacle, um, large, like, kind of um, um, cliff face type thing that we're going up. So anyway, there I am again in the video, um, spotting on the left-hand side in a light blue shirt, um, and here he is again, um, just sort of needing just a little bit of um, spotting to to get over the obstacle. In a lot of cases, um, and you'll see this kind of twitch on my video, um, a lot of times, like, if you hit an obstacle and you get stuck, you can usually a lot of times just back up, or at least I can back up, um, like a foot or two, turn the wheel either left or right, it doesn't really matter, um, as long as you're not going to, like, hit a tree, but turn the wheel just, like, left uh, left or right, and then reapproach the, the same exact obstacle, but just do it where the vehicle is, like, on a foot to the left or a foot to the right, and a lot of times just moving the front wheels, like, you know, over you know, half a foot or foot to the left or to the right is the difference between getting over the obstacle and getting up. So, um, that's that's what I do a lot. And basically, I mean, that was what I told him. I'm like, hey, do you know, just go left or right a little bit and, you, and the rock won't be in the way. Um, so that was like one of the obstacles on this trail that we're on, uh, 32. Then, uh, um, this whole video is going to be, for the most part, a cab video. Um, cab being, it's going to be from the inside of my cab watching me go up it. Um, the next video after this, um, well, there'll be a, quite a bit of footage of me on the outside holding the camera and you'll see other jeeps kind of going up it and i did cut the video a little bit for length um so you'll see like jeeps disappearing magically um, because you don't want to you know watch a spot a jeep for you know 10 or 15 minutes over a, a little obstacle So this small obstacle here that he's going over, um, a lot of times is more difficult than the very next obstacle that you'll see uh, just shortly after it. Um, and you can see he's like kind of getting stuck here, and and it just um, the way that the the ruts are in on this obstacle, um, it's like just like people who've dug it out a lot to the point that that. Uh, um, you end up with all the wheels like kind of spinning that you know you need to have moving and stuff. They do a little bit of moving rocks and stuff to get them up the um, hill without having to winch or anything like that. Um, but this op this specific like little tiny spot, um, it seems like ends up giving people a lot more trouble than uh, than the next obstacle. The next obstacle is significantly bigger. Um, the next obstacle is this big hill that you can see in the distance, and uh, it's a, kind of like a granite face hill that's maybe like say 30 or 40 feet long um, it's not vertical like straight up it's more like maybe 60 degrees it's bigger than 45 degrees um, it's not 90 but it's a pretty steep um, it's hard to tell like really the relative angle here I guess you could look at the trees and compare it to the ground um, but it's just uh, um, this big kind of rock looking face thing that we're gonna go up and uh, the right hand side is the easy side and then the left hand side is a little bit more difficult and there's a little bit of a bump at the top and to get up it essentially just need momentum and then uh, with the right amount of momentum you can just get right over it so this is like the the end of the trail and uh, the, like i said the next video um that i post will be the, the rest of the jeeps going over the all these obstacles that you just saw um and you'll get to see if you're in the group with me you'll be able to see your jeep um hopefully um go over the obstacle So this is a, one thing that's always interesting about Ratch Creek. A lot of the park has water. Um, at AOAA, there are areas with water, but you don't see like water on like every other trail. Where at Roush, it seems like there's a lot of places um, where you see a lot more water on a lot more trails. Um, it's not like the trails are just water, um, like they are at AOAA. Um, like if you look at Puddle Road, um, Puddle Road is like a whole lot of water. Um, you know, or Excelsior Swamp, where um, at Roush, you kind of get these like kind of mixes where there's a little bit of a hill climb, there's a little bit of rocks, there's a little bit of water. Um, you, you don't usually get that kind of a, like a combination um, there. So this is into the trail. You could have gone to the left there where we didn't go to get off to if you want to, like the easy way out. Um, or you can go to the right here, which is the way that we're going, which is a little more um, interesting route. Anyway, so please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, subscribing helps me out a lot uh, on the channel. Um, thank you.
have a good day.